Welcome back to my channel guys, it's your girl Coco Styles and on this channel we talk about beauty, fashion, lifestyle and styling. Styling for tall girls. I don't really say it much but I've probably said my height a hundred times in the last couple of videos is because I'm really wanting to get to those girls who are tall who are really struggling with shopping for their body type. But today I wanted to show you guys some of the things that I wore in a week. So first I want to start off by saying finding trousers in denim is really hard for women who are tall. And I'm gonna start out at 5'9 and up. 5'9 ladies may not struggle as much because a lot of pants and jeans are being made with like a 32 to 34. Seeing 34 is a lot more. So they shouldn't really struggle. Even a six foot tall person like myself, I definitely know that the struggle is real, but I'm finding that a lot more brands I'm carrying is an inseam of 34, which I can wear. I'm gonna jump into the outfits that I wore this week and I hope you guys enjoy it. But just to let you know, the trousers that I purchased, I did get them tailored in any jeans that I have on in any of the photos, I got them tailored. Tailored as far as the trousers, I literally got the hems taken down just a slither. They were already a 34 inch and seemed long, which was fine, but I wanted to wear them with a specific shoe and I had her take that down. The jeans, I get any pants or jeans from Zara, well I'm gonna say jeans from Zara, taking in at the waist so that it can fit my waist and I don't have to wear a belt. The reason why I size up in Zara jeans is because I need them to fit my legs properly as opposed to the waist because I could always get that tailored. So I hope that helps. Let's get into outfit number one. Outfit one, I'm gonna pop in a picture for you guys. Um, so outfit number one, those are a pair of favorite daughter pants and those are called their favorite pants. They have two, they have the Agnes and then they have the favorite pants. I'm not quite sure what the difference is with the Agnes, they may not be as thick, but these are the favorite pants and they're around two, either 218 or 228, I'm not too sure, but they're really nice pants. This is like a green, it looks lighter on camera, but it's not as light as that as opposed to how it looks in the photo. But the t-shirt is an old Zara graphic tee. And for those of you who know, Zara has really nice graphic tees when they do get them in. So I like to grab them up when they do have them. Now the shoes I am wearing are my Sam Edelman pumps. I wanted to keep it kind of dressy, but kind of, I don't know, like, I don't even want to say chic because when I hear the word chic, I think of darker colors, but it's a nice little fun outfit. The bag is my Monster Gavriel Clutch. You guys know I rave about those bags a lot because I really like the quality. As they open up on the inside, the leather is nice and inside of the bag is also leather. So those are some of the things that I actually really, really like about the bag. And then I have on my key sunglasses that I always love and just some gold accessories. When you are shopping for clothes, ladies, I like to say, especially as tall women, if you see something in multiple colors, you may wanna grab multiple colors. And that is because there are not just women who are our height wearing the clothes. There's average height girlies wearing the clothes as well. So we have to jump on it a lot earlier than other people. It's a pain, but it's just the reality of it. Otherwise, we'll be out here with no clothes, ladies. <laughs> the second outfit, I have on a pair of beautiful satin-like. I'm gonna say satin-like because I don't think those are like 100% satin. But satin like trousers from ASOS, my Zara slides, and a, I think that's actually a Zara top as well, just a tank top with the uh, shoulder pads. And the headband is by the Arliss brand. I think I'm, I'm saying this brand right. The headbands are gorgeous. And I do have on my uh, Quay, sun, Quay Key sunglasses <laughs> that I absolutely love. Now the headband is like a mixture of multiple denim styles. And I hope you guys can see the picture when I pop it in. Multiple denim styles and co denim colors. So you can definitely wear it with any type of denim that you have without being restricted to one denim color. I also threw on my Zara denim belt. I love that belt. And this particular day, I chose not to wear an actual 
purse or clutch or anything because those pockets are big enough to carry your cell phone and your wallet guys and your car keys so that is outfit number two i kept it really chill that day with the t-shirt and the slide if i did have on heels or something it definitely would have elevated the outfit more but wearing slides on the days where i just want to just kind of just chill out that's what i'm gonna do be comfortable and be stylish at the same time so the next outfit i do have on my frankie shop denim skirt i've said this when i <laughs> did the frankie shop haul that skirt is extremely tight so if the way it's made it's made for someone with a smaller waist so if you do have just a slither of belly ladies it's going to be a little snug around your stomach but i really like it because it's extremely long and it's very, made very very well I threw on an old pair of Sam Edelman mules that are red and that is also a Frankie Shop vest. Now for reference guys remember I am six feet tall so the way the vest fits on my frame does not look the same as the model which I am okay because I actually did like the fit on myself as well as her. So the vest is like a yellow, it's cream but it's given like a slight bit of I'm looking at it now it's like a slight I don't want to say ivory because it's like a teeny bit of yellow in it to me and then I threw on my Gucci Ophidia Ophidia clutch and my key glasses and kept it really chill this day the vest I wore it by itself it's crisscross you can definitely wear it open if you wanted to however you won't be able to see your top because the way the top closes across the front so that is outfit number three outfit inspiration for tall girls and what I wore in a week the next outfit is I have on another pair of favorite daughter trousers and like I said I got all three trousers tailored these fit a tad bit big still for some reason I just don't think that she pulled the pleats far enough over but they still fit really good around the waist and stuff I have on a pair of Zara slides you guys know I love me a pair of Zara slides and that is an express bandeau top my banana republic button-down shirt and I just have on a pair of glasses and of course my Zara belt I threw it over it I didn't want to carry a actual bag and like I said before that bag that belt bag actually can carry a lot of stuff so your wallet can fit and your cell phone can fit and those are key pieces <laughs> as well as your keys so that is outfit number four and let's get into the last outfit of the week and the last outfit of the week because I kind of just chilled the other days like nothing did nothing so this outfit I have on a pair of Zara jeans and a Zara top I want you guys to pay attention to, to the things that I'm saying especially if you are a tall girl and you do not shop at regular brands some of the outfits I am wearing are top and bottom from the same place just letting you know how I make these things work for me even if I have to tweak them so I have on a pair of Zara full length, I don't want to say straight leg pants because they're not super wide, um, but they're actually a soft pair of denim. My Jimmy Choo slides that I love. Um, and I also have on a Zara top. That top has been around for probably like a few months now. I saw it in store, but it was like the last one. And then I just so happened to just order it online. And I absolutely love, 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 love that that shirt i also have my other monster gabriel bag which is like a pretty taupe color and my other key glasses love it kept it chill a very comfortable outfit and those mules you guys know i got a size 13 and that's because i feel like the brands are making everything smaller so i don't know if it's, i don't know i just know that i've never had to size never in my life um but they fit like a regular size 11 shoe but those are the outfits that i wore this week as a tall girl i hope that helps you guys when you are getting dressed and if you have any questions about any of the items that i purchased they are all pretty much old uh, but you can definitely comment below if you would like for me to find something similar that shirt from zara i'm probably not gonna find it it's very rare that you find asymmetrical shirts that are long like that but Maybe you can go on the out of stock list and maybe you can get it. Thank you guys for tuning in for this week's What I Wore in a Week as a Tall Woman. And I will catch you guys in the next one. If you stayed to the end of this video, please comment Coco We See You. And make sure you guys are following me on Instagram at CocoStylesNYC and CocoStylesNY. 
and guys my style blog coco styles nyc dot com and my personal style services coco styles ny dot com and i'm on tickety tickety talk guys <laughs> coco styles nyc and i will catch you guys in the next one bye guys